how to connect your Canva website to your Hostinger domain. So if you've made a website in Canva and you now want to connect it to your Hostinger domain, this video will show you exactly what you need to do step by step. So first we need to go ahead and go to Canva. And if you haven't created a website already, just go ahead and search for website. You'll then see 900 templates that you can choose from and you can start to build out your website. This video is not gonna cover building out your website though. It will just show you connecting your domain. So I'm gonna choose this as an example. So we'll click on this template and then we'll click customize this template. Now here we can obviously customize this website however we want. We can go ahead and edit all of these different buttons and these elements and add new pages. Now I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just going to connect my domain. So let's say we're happy with the website we've made. We now wanna go to publish website in the top right hand corner and it's then going to lock your design while you publish your website. Now I would keep resize on mobile enabled without navigation. And then here where it says publish to, you wanna choose here, use my existing domain. Go ahead and click on that and then click continue. Now you need to enter in your domain from Hostinger. You are gonna to need to have Canva Premium or Canva Pro to do this. So now I'm gonna to go to Hostinger, I'm gonna log in and I'm going to choose a domain. So here we are inside of Hostinger. I'm gonna choose here knowledgebasedtutorials.com. We're gonna go ahead and click on manage and you then wanna to go to the DNS slash name servers window. If you already have DNS or name servers on here, you wanna go ahead and click reset DNS records and then click reset. That's gonna remove it so everything's gonna be as default. Just wait a second. If it doesn't reset, then just give it a refresh. So these should be all of the default records. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Canva and we need to enter in our domain. So my domain is knowledgebasedtutorials.com which I'm gonna copy from Hostinger and then paste it into Canva. So once you've pasted in your domain, go ahead and click on continue. And then Canva is gonna ask you to add two text records to Hostinger. So we need to add a new text record to your DNS settings by copy and pasting the values below. So what we need to do is add the first one. The first one's gonna be a text record. So we need to first copy the name, then you need to go to Hostinger and you need to go to type and you wanna choose text. Now in the name, you wanna delete what's already there and paste in what Canva give you, which is gonna be this here. Now we'll go back to Canva again. And this is the value where it points to, so we can copy that and we can paste that into the TXT value and then click on add record. Now we can see that domain record has been created. Now we can go ahead and click TXT record added. Now we need to add a, a record. This is gonna be the name, so we'll copy the name. We'll then go back here, we'll go and add an A record. The name is at, and then the value slash points to is gonna be this IP address. So we'll copy that, paste it in here, click add record. And if you have one A record already, you can go ahead and delete it. I'm gonna click confirm here. So it's added my A record. I'm just gonna delete the one that I don't want. So this is the one that was already here from Hostinger. I'm gonna delete this. So it doesn't conflict with any information from Canva. Now we can click this, we've added the A record. So we've added the second A record. Now we need to just add the third one. So copy this. So the name is www, the value points to, and obviously you want to enter in this value. Then click add record and confirm. If it says it conflicts, then maybe you just only need one. So we're gonna click a record added and then connect domain. So now what you wanna do is go to browser tab preview and you wanna go ahead and edit this. So this is what it's gonna be by default. I'm gonna delete all of this because I'm connecting knowledge base. I want my browser tab preview to say something like knowledge base. Maybe we'll type here step by step tutorials. Okay, so now I've entered in that. This is now gonna show in the browser tab preview. I'm gonna keep the page URL default because I just want this to go to the home page and the page description. I can go ahead and enter this here and this will show up on Google. I'll just type here something like a tutorial website which helps you fix your problems. Then we'll go ahead and check out advanced settings. We don't want any password protection. We want it to appear in search results. I'll keep all of these on default and then click publish. Now it's then going to prepare our website and it should then connect it to Hostinger. So now our domain is being verified by the host. It says here it can take up to 72 hours and but you can check the processing in your domain settings. So if we go to view domain settings, which we can just have a look here. You can see everything has been connected. So if we just copy this domain, it now should redirect us to our Canva website. So let's paste it in a new tab. And right now it isn't working, so we are gonna have to wait up to 72 hours. So here's where people get confused and they get a bit worried, like how do I know I've done this right? 
Well, first, what you need to do is just wait because it needs to update on all of the servers. But if you want to check that you've done it right, go to a website called dnschecker.org, paste in your domain here, click search. And if everything's green here, it means you've done it right. You just have to wait for all of the DNS records to update. So that's how you can connect your hosting a domain to Canva. I hope that video did help you out.